being able to look at a vulnerability report or a vulnerability description and understand exactly what it's doing is a really useful skill in both the offensive and defensive sides of information security. Uh, this is OXDF. Um, please excuse my uh, kind of construction laden background here. Um, we're dealing a little bit dirty, but we're going to make a video anyway. Um, today, we're going to look at CVE 2023-37474, a directory traversal in copy party. Now, this isn't a particularly famous bug or even really a well-known software, uh, but I came across it recently in something I was working on, and I thought it was a really nice example of a vulnerability where without too much work, we can dive in and see exactly what's going on. Um, and that's what we're going to look at today. So uh, we're going to start by looking at the NVD page for the CVE. Um, and it just says that, that it's a portable file server and versions prior to 818182 are subject to a path traversal vulnerability detected in the CPR subfolder. Uh, there's not a lot else here other than, so, so we want, we want uh, it looks like it's fixed in 182 and uh, that's what we have to go on. Um, I also found this sneak page where they go give a little more detail, including this POC, which is very simple. Um, much like we're talking about here, it's a, it's a directory traversal uh, slash CPR directory, as mentioned in the NVD. Um, and then they have a percent two F, which is a URL encoded forward slash, uh, and then Etsy, pa Etsy password. So they're going to read the Etsy password file. Um, okay, but still that doesn't give me a ton. So let's, oh, like, let's actually figure out uh, where this is in the code and what it's coming from. Um, this is really useful because if I can figure out where it's coming from on the offensive side, I might need to tweak the vulnerability, tweak something or understand exactly how it's working to exploit it. Uh, and on the defensive side, I may want to understand it so I can write detection rules and figure out exactly what it's going for. Um, so I'm going to go over to grep.app. Um, this is my favorite way to search GitHub now. Uh, and we can search, let's just, we, we want to start by doing a uh, copy party. So we can find over here on the left, I can see the copy party repo. Uh, so I'm going to click on this to just filter only in that repo. Um, if I didn't know what this was, in fact, when I was running to it originally, I didn't recognize it. Um, but I grabbed some strings out of the HTML source and threw it in here and it found them in the copy party repo. That's how I identified it. So grep.app is an awesome tool. Um, now that I have that, I'm limited to that repo. Let's put in .cpr, uh, which I think is short for copy party. And we got some um, stuff in here that doesn't look like Python code. Um, but if we scroll down here a little bit, here we go. Uh, we have HTTPI CLI and if vpath starts with CPR. That's exactly what I want to look at. Um, let's open this up. And before I start looking at it, though, I want to get back to the vulnerable version. So I'm going to click here and switch the tags and click they are tagging their version. So we can come down to, uh, we'll say 181. And now this should be the vulnerable version. Uh, if we control F4 dot CPR. Cool. So if the embedded, if the V path starts with, so I, you know, we can, we're in the handle get function here. So we're going to assume that self dot V path is the, the path, um, probably relative to the server here. So starting with the slash, uh, maybe after the slash, because we're looking for starts with .cpr. Um, so if it starts with .cpr, now we're going to ignore the icon stuff. We're going to ignore this. We're going to ignore this. Um, these all return. So when we're through here and then boom, we just make static path equals os.join self.something slash web slash vpath. And the thing I, I've run into this before on some hack the box machines and other things, um, Python does a really unintuitive thing with os.path.join. In fact, let's go check it out. Um, I'm going to pull up a window here and go to Python, import os. And if I do os.path.join and I do something like, you know, um, var www site, and then, then I want to go to the like .cpr. And then if I, if I put in another thing that's here, like a uh, test and I run this, I'm going to get var w, you know, it's what I expect to get. As soon as I put a slash here, everything before it gets truncated and it just becomes, it goes back to the root. And so you, if you have any of your things in os.path.join that start with a slash, everything before it gets thrown away. Um, so to go back to our code, if I can get to here, uh, to this line right here, the static path line, if I can get self vpath removing the first five characters to start with a slash, I can read anywhere on, or at least I can return the static path, path, which I then assume is going to end up, you know, transmitting file. Presumably I'm going to return that file. So I can go to the root out of the intended root and go anywhere. Um, five characters, why are those being removed? Well, dot CPR slash. And so 
the slash is getting taken off there, and the, then the question is, can I put another one? And that's exactly what we're doing in this traversal, um, is we put a slash here, and so this will be the first thing, and so we basically turn this into Etsy password. Um, cool, let's, you know, the last thing we could do here is take a quick look and, let's see, let's go to Copy Party, um, let's, let's play with this a little bit, and grab the code, and come down here, we'll go to, um, copy it, clone, paste this in, and now we can go to Copy Party. Now I'm going to check out the vulnerable version. Get checkout. Um, I'm just going to. We know there's a tag 1.8.1, and we've detached our head, but we're back at that tag. That's fine. Um, I'm going to make a Python virtual environment to install. Uh, Python minus m vnv, and I'll call it vnv 1.8.1, and that makes this is going to create like a copy of Python and all the libraries, and it can all run within this virtual environment. So now to use that, I have to do source vnv bin activate. And now you can see I'm in that virtual environment, and now I can just do a pip install, boom, and it's going to install copy party version, the version I've checked out, 1.81, you see right here, in my virtual environment here. Um, so now I get I get access to the copy party command, and I'm running it. Now let's see, Oops. we can run, oh, let's go full screen here. Um, and we can do, it give me, it gave me a port uh, 3923, localhost 3923, and I've got my, I've got my, File browser here, you can see the root is basically at the copy party place. Well, not in Tmux. Oh, how terrible is that? Uh, hold on. Pause. Kill, kill you. Uh, uh, T, there, deactive, deactivate Tmux. There we go. Uh, source v, vnv bin activate and copy party. Okay. Back. That was, that was scary. Um, if I open up a new window and do ls, we can see this the uh, the file browser is running out of the directory I'm running from, and so I can't access things outside of this. At least I shouldn't be able to. Um, so if I come back in here and uh, do a curl, gp localhost thirty nine thirty two two, um, uh, sorry, Okay, and I even get, actually from curl, I actually even get the, uh, just the files themselves, which is kind of cool. Um, but if I try to do, so if I try to do slash bin, I can see inside slash bin, but if I try to do dot 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 dot, oops. If I try to like put a directory traversal in here, the password, uh, that doesn't work. That looks like failure. Um, I can try path as is. Still nothing that that's not working. Um, okay, so let's try our vulnerability now. Where if we try dot cpr slash no you percent two f uh, etsy percent two f password, we've got etsy password. Uh, we can do something smaller, just for like host name, host maybe host uh, host name. So we're seeing we're we're getting we're getting what we expect here. We're reading files off the file system. Um, we could show that this doesn't work anymore if we kill that. Deactivate uh, Python minus M V E N V V E N V uh, current. Let's see how we're going to figure. We'll see. Um, git checkout main. Git checkout master. Git branch. Uh, git checkout. I wonder what that stands for. Probably probably is like main or master in some other language. Um, if we now do a source v PNV current bin activate pip install dot copy party and now if we run this exact same thing that worked before we get a four four not that um, it's actually kind of cool I was playing with this a little bit if we do a um, let's see uh, pip uninstall copy party we could build another virtual environment but I'm just gonna, for the sake of check uh, just for the sake of brevity do this quickly. Uh, if I do check out uh, v1.8.2, this is the version where it gets patched, and we do pip install dot to install it, and copy party to run it, and now if we try this, um, it actually calls out attempted path traversal, uh, it's trying to read Etsy hostname, so um, looks like at some point they got tired of having that warning in there and just went for it, but uh, maybe that was useful to know right when the vulnerability came out, so um, that's it, quick video today. Um, Need to see how we could use 
tools like um, sync to get a, a, a POC and then grep.app to find exactly where in the code we need to go. And um, from there, you, we understood it. We know exactly what's going on. So uh, thanks for hanging out with me today and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.